สวัสดีค่ะ everyone today I will show you guys how to cook crispy fish with chili sauce in Thai we call it ปลาทับพิมพ์ทอดปลาทับพิมพ์ means red tilapia fish ทอด means deep fry and the chili sauce I will make today is a perfect match with this crispy fish recipe all right are you ready let's cook This is red tilapia fish or p l a t a p t i m I decided to choose this one because it's very easy to find around my house, and it's quite popular for Thai cuisine as well. But of course, if you have sea bass, grouper, cod, or snapper fish, you can do it with this recipe too. It will still be delicious. Let's start to make crispy fish. Turn on gas on medium heat. Add deep fried oil. I use palm oil for about half liter to deep fry the fish. Then add the flour to prevent the oil spread to your face. Not only that, the flour will make the fish have a crispy skin texture and also help to don't let the fish stick to the pan. Stir to mix both well. Once the oil is hot, add fish. Oh, I don't spread on me now. Oh. Let the fish cook for about five to ten minutes. By the way, to deep fry a whole fish, don't forget to remove the fish scales and diagonally cut its meat open to make the fish cook too roughly. At this point, I really like to add c a f e l a m leaf inside the oil to make the fish smell even better. This will give the fragrance to the oil, and you can also serve the crunchy c a f e l a m leaf with the fish later on. It tastes a little bit bitter and herby. But it's so good. You will never know you like it or not if you never try. It's time to cook another side of the fish. I have to use two spatula to flip the fish because I don't want to break the fish meat. Everything is good. The fish looks yummy, and no one jumping around. The only problem here is my pan is quite small for the fish, so I cannot cook the fish tail. Hope you guys have a bigger pan than mine. Well. I just use the spatula to fold the top part and let the tail cook. I will cook another side again for about five minutes, and it's happened. The fish tail is gone, but don't worry, I will fix it later. <laughs> Now let the fish cook in peace. Be patient for this recipe. Don't change the gas to high heat. Stay on medium heat to not let the fish cook outside. But inside still raw. Now both sides of the fish is very looks good and crispy, so I think it's ready for the next step. Once the fish is cooked, I will let it aside to drain the unnecessary oil. Now the crispy fish is done. It's time to make the spicy chili sauce. I will start with lemongrass. You know what? Lemongrass is really herby and full of fragrance. The most tasty and fragrance part is where you can see the purple color. So I will thinly slice it until there is less purple color or no more. Lemongrass is beautiful to eat as long as you slice it thin. See, no more purple. I stop. I will thinly slice some chilies. And the rest, I will pound it later on. The reason I chose red chilies is because it brings the color to the dish, and that will make it looks appetizing. I will cut all the way across the garlic. After that, use a knife to do three horizontal cuts, but not quite hit in the bottom, and chop it. Next, I will slice the red onion or shallot. Both are great for the sauce. I like to separate the layers to see clearly color, and small pieces are easier to eat than the big chunks, right? This is lamb, not a lemon. It's just stayed too long in the kitchen. I will just cut it into three wedges, then remove the seeds and set it aside. This is cilantro or coriander. In Thai, we call it p a k c h i For this chili sauce recipe, I will use the leaves and also the root. I will cut the leaves later. Now, take care the root first. Use it half only. 
another half I will use for another recipe. The roux is quite hard. It will take long time to pound the whole piece. So to make it easier, cut it into small pieces. I will cut some stem of it too. Even better for smell in the sauce. Now for the leaves, just rub it, chop it. And set it aside. I will start to pound the garlic and the cilantro root first. Once it's fine like this, next I will add chili. For this part, don't put your face close to the water because the chili can spread to your eyes and it's not gonna be fun at all. You can wear glasses if you have one, but if you don't, just be careful, okay? Once the chili paste is done, I will seasoning it. Add palm sugar, but if you can't buy it, white or brown sugar is okay. Following with fish sauce, next, add some hot water to balance the taste and to melt the sugar. Stir to mix. We have to stir until the palm sugar is all dissolved. Keep stirring until there is no more sugar chunks like this left in the sauce anymore. Then add the lamb juice. If I add it the same time as the hot water, the sauce will have a bitter taste and that is not what I want. At this point, you can taste a little bit to add just the taste by your liking. Mm. For me, it's perfect because I got sweet, spicy, salty, and sour. My grandma always dip her pesto into the sauce when it's finished. She told me, don't waste the paste min. So now I will add the rest of the ingredients to mix with the sauce. Stir to mix. And we move it to a small bowl. Are you ready to see how I will serve it? I will put it back to the tail. Now pour the sauce all over the fish meat. A juicy fish meat with a tasty spicy chili sauce. Wow, it's really, really delicious combination. If you love fish, you would love to see this recipe. It is grilled fish on a barbecue with a spicy seafood sauce. As always, don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends, and chop that like button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.